My name is Lizanne Gann. I'm a conservator of works of art on paper and photographic materials. And today we're going to be discussing and showing you parts of the treatment of an oratone by Polly Smith, which is part of the public art collection of the city of Dallas. This oratone was made for the Centennial Exposition of 1936 and is installed in the Hall Estate at Fair Park. Today I'm working on removing the tapes that held the three plates together and they have become yellowed and darkened and they're very brittle and they are still attached to the back of the, of the mirror. And I'm trying to remove those mechanically with spatulas and scalpels. The tapes are coming apart in segments. Some of them are very dried out and they're flaking off very easily. Others are very well stuck to the plate. I'm having to go in and remove the plastic. And each time I progress, I have to step back, take a look at what's happening, maybe change tools, change my technique, and evaluate. So it's a constant process of adaptation during the treatment. The main goal here is to save as much as we can on the, on the original and then preserve it for the future. So we're going to go ahead and allow that to be removed and then we're going to make a fill material later that will maintain the same appearance but not absorb into the back of the piece. We're getting ready for the next step and that's going to be removing the residual adhesive on the front of the image bearing plate with solvent and a small swab. I've also prepared a backing board uh, with silver mylar and four ply rag board to serve as a non-invasive fill for losses in the mirror layer. We don't want to attach or apply anything to the mirror itself that could cause problems down the road. Um, that's part of our preventive conservation approach and we want to be sure that we remain within the guidelines of, of treatment. So in the final phase of the treatment, we're going to position the plate uh, so that we can reseal the three plates together. So I'm going to cut pieces that are the length of the oratone plate on each side and I'm going to be folding them over so they overlap and cover the corners adequately. So the final phase of treatment is complete. We have the second layer of sealing tape on. The oratone is ready to go back into its frame and up on the ball.